Daily Scriptural Truths, My Identity in Christ These verses are what the Word of God says about me. I must see them as the true picture of my new God-given character. The Bible says, what you see, I will give to you. It also says, so faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. God's Word will transform me. When the enemy comes back against me, as he does to all believers, I will use the Word of God as a weapon to defeat him. I will take up the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. From the book of Deuteronomy, Because I obey the Lord, he sets me high above all the nations, and showers these blessings upon me. I am blessed in the city, and blessed in the country. My children, possessions, and businesses are all blessed. I am blessed by God when I come in, and blessed when I go out. The Lord causes my enemies to be defeated before me. They come out against me from one way, and flee from me in seven directions. The Lord commands blessing upon me, and all that I put my hand to. The Lord blesses me in the land which he gives to me. The Lord has established me as a holy person to himself, as he swore to me since I keep the commandments of the Lord and walk in his ways. Everyone sees that I am called by the name of the Lord, and they show reverence. The Lord makes me abound in prosperity, in my children, businesses, possessions, and the land which the Lord gives to me. The Lord has opened for me his good storehouse, the heavens, to give rain to my land in its season, and to bless all the work of my hand. I lend to many, but I never need to borrow. The Lord has made me the head and not the tail. I am above and not underneath, because I listen to the commands of the Lord and obey them. I will not turn aside from any of my God's commands, neither to the right nor to the left, to go after other gods. I am blessed. I have been saved by the Lord, who is the shield of my help and the sword of my majesty. My enemies cringe before me. I tread upon their high places. From the book of Psalms. I am blessed by God, because I do not keep company with sinners and those who do not honor him, nor do I walk in their ways. But I delight in the law of the Lord and meditate on it day and night. I am like a tree, firmly planted by streams of water, which yields abundant fruit in season. My leaves shall always be green. The Lord causes me to prosper in all that I do. From the book of Proverbs. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. When I run into it, I am safe. From the prophet Isaiah. No weapon that is formed against me will prosper. From the prophet Jeremiah. I am blessed because I trust in the Lord, and my trust is the Lord. I am like a tree planted by the water. I do not fear when the heat comes. My lease will be green, and I will not be anxious in a year of drought, nor cease to yield fruit. The Lord has plans for me, plans to prosper me and keep me from harm, plans to give me a hope and a future. From the prophet Micah. God will lift up his hand against my adversaries, and all my enemies will be cut off. From the Gospel of Matthew I am the salt of the earth. I am the light of the world. My mission is to let my light so shine before men that they see my good works and give glory to my Father who is in heaven. Blessed am I when people insult me and persecute me and falsely say all kinds of evil against me because of Christ. I rejoice and am glad, for my reward in heaven is great, for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before me. As I go, I will preach, saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. I will heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, cast out unclean spirits, Freely I received, freely I give. I hold the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever I bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever I loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. 
Again, Yeshua has given me the promise, whatever I bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever I loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. If another person and I agree about anything we ask, it shall be done for us by our Father in heaven. Where two or three of us gather in Christ's name, Christ is there in our midst. Christ is with me always, even to the end of the age. From the Gospel of Luke I am blessed when men hate me, and ostracize me, and insult me, and say that I am evil for the sake of Christ. In that day I leap for joy, for behold, my reward is great in heaven, for in the same way their fathers used to treat the prophets. From the story of when the seventy returned with joy, Lord, even the evil spirits are subject to me in your name. Behold, I have been given the authority and superhuman miraculous power to trample on serpents and scorpions, and over all the violent power of the enemy, and nothing will injure me. Nevertheless, I will not rejoice because the spirits are subject to me. Rather, I will rejoice that my name is written in heaven. Since I am used by God, the enemy will ask permission to sift me like wheat. So I pray that my faith will not fail, and that God will use me to strengthen my brothers. Christ has clothed me from on high. From the Gospel of John I have the right and power to be a child of God. I can do the same works that Yeshua did. I will do even greater works because he has gone to the Father and sent the Holy Spirit to me. Whatever I ask in Christ's name, he will do it for me, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Yeshua emphasized this twice. Anything I ask in his name, he will do it. If I truly love Yeshua, I will keep his commandments. He asked the Father to send me a helper. He is with me forever. He is the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it does not see him or know him. But I know him because he abides with me and is in me. Yeshua did not leave me as an orphan. He came to me in the Holy Spirit. Yeshua is in me and I in him. I am part of the true vine and channel of his life. I am Christ's friend. I have been chosen and appointed by Christ to bear his fruit. From the book of the Acts of the Apostles I received power when the Holy Spirit came upon me. I am Christ's witness to the ends of the earth. From Paul's letter to the Romans I am justified by Christ, completely forgiven and made righteous. I died with Christ and died to the power of sin's rule over my life. I am a slave of righteousness. I am free from condemnation forever, because I am in Yeshua Messiah. The spirit of him who raised Yeshua from the dead dwells in me. The spirit himself testifies of my spirit that I am a child of God, and if a child, an heir also, an heir of God and fellow heir with Christ, if I suffer with him so that I may be glorified with him. I consider the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory that is to be revealed to me. I am more than a conqueror through Christ. Nothing can separate me from the love of God, which is in Yeshua Messiah, our Lord. From Paul's first letter to the Corinthians. I have been placed into Christ's body by God's doing. I have been given a message to preach that is not built on persuasive words of wisdom, but on demonstrations of the Spirit and a power, so that their faith will not rest on the wisdom of men, but on the power of God. I have received the Spirit of God into my life. I can know the things freely given to me by God. I have been given the mind of Christ. I am a temple, a dwelling place of God. His Spirit and His life dwell in me. I am united to the Lord, and am one Spirit with Him. I have been bought with a price. I am not my own. I belong to Christ. I am a member of Christ's body. From Paul's second letter to the Corinthians. I have been established, anointed, and sealed by God in Christ, and I have been given the Holy Spirit as a pledge, guaranteeing my inheritance to come. Since I have died, I no longer live for myself, but for Christ. I am a new creation in Christ. The old things have passed away. 
Behold, all things have become new. I am reconciled to God, and am a minister of reconciliation. I am an ambassador of the King. I have been made righteous. Though I walk in the flesh, I do not war according to the flesh. For the weapons of my warfare are not of the flesh, but divinely powerful for the destruction of fortresses. I take every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. Yeshua Messiah lives in me. From Paul's letter to the Galatians. I have been crucified with Christ, and it is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. The life I am now living is Christ's life. I am a daughter of God and one in Christ. I am an heir of God, since I am a daughter of God. The deeds of the flesh are repulsive to my new nature. Adultery, fornication, immorality, impurity, sensuality, idolatry, witchcraft, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, outbursts of anger, disputes, dissensions, factions, envying, drunkenness, carousing, and things like these. Those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. God has filled me with the fruit of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. I have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. Because I live by the Spirit, I also walk by the Spirit. I will not become boastful, challenging others, envying others. Since I am a spiritual person, I will restore those who commit trespasses in a spirit of gentleness, looking to myself so that I too will not be tempted. I will bear my brother's burdens and thereby fulfill the law of Christ. If I think I am something when I am nothing, I deceive myself. I will share all good things with the one who teaches me the word. I shall not be deceived. God is not mocked, for whatever I sow, this I will also reap. I will not sow to my flesh and reap corruption, instead I will sow to the Spirit and reap eternal life. I never lose heart in doing good, for in due time I will reap if I do not grow weary. When I have the opportunity, I do good to all people, and especially to those who are of the household of the faith. From Paul's letter to the Ephesians I am a saint. I have been blessed with every spiritual blessing. Christ chose me before the beginning of the world to be holy and without blame before him. I was predestined, determined by God to be adopted as God's daughter. I have been redeemed and forgiven and am a recipient of his lavish grace. I have been made alive together with Christ. I have been raised up and seated with Christ in heaven. I am God's workmanship, his handiwork, born anew in Christ to do his work. I have direct access to God through the Holy Spirit. I am a fellow citizen with the saints. I am a member of God's household. I am a prisoner of Christ. I may approach God with boldness, freedom, and confidence. I am righteous and holy. I am a beloved child and an imitator of God. I walk in love, just as Christ also loved me. Immorality, impurity, and greed are not in me, as is proper among the saints. I do not engage in filthiness, silly talk, or coarse jesting, which are not fitting. My struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, authorities, and powers of darkness, against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly places. From Paul's letter to the Philippians, I am a citizen of heaven, seated in heaven right now. I am a child of God, above reproach in a crooked and perverse world. I appear as a light in the world. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. From Paul's letter to the Colossians, I have been rescued from the domain of darkness and transferred to the kingdom of the Son he loves. I have been redeemed and forgiven of all my sins. The debt against me has been cancelled. I was once hostile in mind and engaged in evil deeds. Now I am reconciled through Christ's death and stand before God, 
holy, blameless, and beyond reproach. Christ himself is in me. I am firmly rooted in Christ and am now being built up in him. I have been made complete in Christ. I have been buried, raised, and made alive with Christ. I died with Christ and have been raised up with him. Christ is now my life. From Paul's first letter to the Thessalonians, I am a child of light and not of darkness. From Paul's second letter to Timothy, God has not given me the spirit of fear, but a power, love, and self-discipline, a sound mind. I have been saved and set apart by God. From the letter to the Hebrews, because I am sanctified and one with the sanctifier, he calls me his sister. I am a holy partaker of a heavenly calling. I am a partaker of Christ. I share in his life. I can come boldly before the throne of God to receive mercy and find grace in my time of need. From the book of James, I will humble myself in the presence of the Lord, and he will exalt me. From the book of 1 Peter, I am one of God's living stones. Being built up in Christ is a spiritual house. I am a member of a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for God's own possession for this reason, so that I might proclaim the excellencies of him who has called me out of darkness into his marvelous light. We once were not a people, but now we are the people of God. I had not received mercy, but now I have received mercy. I am an alien and a stranger in this world in which I temporarily live. I abstain from fleshly lusts which wage war against my soul. I am an enemy of the devil. From the book of Second Peter, I have been given precious and magnificent promises by God, by which I am a partaker of God's divine nature. From the book of First John, I am a child of God, and I will resemble Christ when he returns. This is how the world knows that I am a child of God and not a child of the devil. I practice righteousness, and I love my brothers and sisters. I am from God. Greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world. Because I believe that Yeshua is the Messiah, and because I love him, I am born of God. I am born of God, and the evil one cannot touch me. From the book of Jude. Now on to him who was able to keep me from falling, and to present me faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. Amen. These verses are what the word of God says about me. I must see them as the true picture of my new God-given character. The Bible says, what you see, I will give to you. It also says, so faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. God's word will transform me. When the enemy comes back against me, as he does to all believers, I will use the word of God as a weapon to defeat him. I will take up the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God.